What's up guys? Currently filming from the beautiful Gili Islands on Indonesia. Let's give you a quick view. It's actually pretty cool here, but there's actually no private area here to film. So I have to just find a spot and just be awkward and start recording. I actually managed to find the only private spot on the island because it's very overpopulated but it's really cool but uh, I wanted to do a quick video on how uh, the order process goes for your sample product once you found a supplier and you want to check if this supplier is okay and how do you do that you order a sample it gets sent to you and uh, in that matter you can check if the product is okay and if you want to build a long-term partnership with this supplier Thank you for watching Dantrepreneur. This channel is all about making money online. And sometimes you get distracted by two freaking white horses inside a sea. But now, <laughs> let's get into this video. So the first thing you gotta do is to actually contact your supplier. If you haven't done it by now, just contact them. You have contact information on Alibaba. Uh, probably you know how to do it, so do that and ask them for the cost for a sample and then wait for the reply. Once you've got the reply, don't get scared by the high cost of the sample product. It's usually around 100 bucks or 200 bucks. This is perfectly fine because what you've got to remember is there are a lot of people who know that you can buy for cheap on Alibaba and a lot of people would just, uh, if the price were low, they could just buy from Alibaba for a cheap price and then never contact the supplier again. So the supplier has made the price higher so people won't do that and that you're actually into it uh, for the partnership. So it's perfectly normal to have around 100 bucks to uh, order a sample. Also when ordering samples, I actually only buy uh, bought one sample. Why do I do this? Because I really narrowed down which supplier I liked and I ordered just one sample and if it would be terribly wrong, uh, I would go for another sample, but I didn't expect it to be terribly wrong and I was right. So. I'd say the perfect amount of sample ordering is like one sample, two samples or maximum of three samples. So make sure you don't order too much samples because it can get really costly and you actually don't need it. It is so freaking hot in here, oh my god. The main tip I can give to you as well, which is really really important, is when you order your sample for let's say $100, you can deduct this price, the sample cost, from your total order if you plan to have a partnership with the supplier. So, to narrow that down, if your total order would be $1,000 and your sample costed $100, you now only have to pay $900. So, make sure to check this with your supplier before ordering the product. Then also check for delivery times. It usually takes up to two weeks. For me, it took two weeks as well. Uh, and make sure to use this time. Don't just wait around. Use this time to create uh, your logo, to maybe create some packaging, some designs, maybe also start creating your listing already. Try to be busy, because there's a lot of stuff to do and you just have to wait for two weeks before you can get any further. So I suggest make use of that time. All right, so now you probably have your sample product and this might seem pretty obvious, but a lot of people do it wrong. Try the product. And what I mean by this is not just use it one time, use it like 100 times. Let's say you have a coffee plunger, set around 1000 cups of coffee, and then you know what's going to be wrong with the product even if you use it more often. And also give your sample to friends or people that can give you feedback as well, which is really important. And then just write down the different uh, points of the product which you don't like and try to fix that with your supplier before ordering the product. Because a lot of suppliers can just 
uh, fix your problem. So make sure to ask for that. All right, so we've came to the end of this short video. If you have more questions, please let me know below. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe because I'll post weekly videos on making money online. So I'll see you guys in the next video.